just a quick thank you to everybody for all your kind regards regarding Louis. As you can see, he's all back to normal again. Just a bit skinnier before, a bit more of a skinnier tiger dog. <laughs> but he's doing fine, aren't you, Louis? Hey? Eh? You are. You are. So nice to have you back. He's back enjoying his food and uh, he's been out in his field a number of times chasing his ball. Haven't you, fella? Hey? Eh? Hello to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> with cutting my hand as you can see he's healed now and Louis coming up with Louis being um, poorly we uh, didn't finish off the awning on the camper van so I've just been out now and made some final uh, alterations to it and got it fastened on so there's a quick video now to show that that's finished and um, we're basically all ready now for Camp Quirky that's going to be our next event so we've got our whippet back to us. I don't know if you can hear in the distance, but that's him eating his biscuits. He's got a kilo to put back on, but apart from that, he's doing fine. And we've got our camper van finished with the awning on the side, which was just another ongoing saga. I think the moral to that story is don't try to do a job yourself when it says it takes three people. Always ask somebody to go and give you an end. But it's on now, and uh, hope you enjoy the video and see how we managed to fit it. Well, after a week of Louis being ill, and then me cutting me hand trying to fit this damn awning, it's finally on the camper van. I managed to fasten these brackets onto here. These are new ones because this is a brand new awning. This is the um, F80S. They've only just come out, and they come with plastic brackets. So I've had to reinforce this with the clips, and these are sicker flexed in because there's a prone area around these on sprinters and crafters for rusting so they're all being sealed I think the last guy who did it already did them as well there was evidence of that so these are bolted through and supported on the other side but they're really strong and similar on the back and the advantage of having them on there is obviously you don't have to stake them out I can actually fasten some guy lines from here down to the ground which will give it additional support if it gets windy but the main problem we had with this is I tried to buy uh, an awning that would fit underneath the roof rack um, and on the roof of the van but uh, the one I ordered is no longer available so when I was away sailing they sent me an email to say there's no longer available and they don't make them anymore and I'd tested all the specifications for that particular one and it would just fit under the roof rack and still fasten to the roof it had been a lot of messing about but it would have fitted in it had been really neat under there so when I got this one this F80S the dimensions are slightly different and it wouldn't fit in that space so originally it was going to go in here and fill that gap but there's no way I can get this in here and it was trying to fit it in here and work it all out when I slipped with a knife cutting a tar wrap and cut my hand which is all nicely healed now so I managed to get these brackets I was going to make some steel brackets to come out from here and just sit it on the steel brackets but when I went to buy some steel I managed to find these L-shaped brackets and these was only £2.20 each and they've bolted to the roof rack and then I've fastened that to the bottom of the awning I'm just changing all these now for stainless because it was temporary fit so it's all been put on to test it works now I've just cut, put some additional stainless screws in and bolt it all up properly but I think it looks quite good Uh, it has been suggested when it's rolled up it looks a bit like a missile on the side of the A-Team van so I'm thinking of putting a big red cone on the end and some fins on the end help with road rage <laughs> So, at last, I'm quite pleased with that. Now, the lights you see on the roof rack, they was temporary fitted, as was the um, Wi-Fi aerial, which is in the middle behind the Rhino badge. So now I've got this fitted where I know it's going to be, I can reroute all those lights and get everything sorted 
I'm probably going to have um, a strip light underneath the awning. You can get one that fastens to the awning instead of having those spotlights. But I might leave those on because they're still useful for when you're fishing uh, on a night and you haven't got the awning out. So I can easily put another cable in and run them. But we're just about there now. Just got to swap all those nuts and bolts, neaten it all up and fasten it on properly. But I'm so pleased that thing's on at last. like when it's wound in. You think it looked good as a missile? Yep, happy with that. At long last. Just need to change all my nuts and bolts now for stainless ones. I've got some, I got some off a friend of mine. So I just temporarily fitted it, make sure everything's alright. Now I can put it on properly. All ready for Camp Quirky. But we're not going to need it there because the weather's going to be that hot. We'll just have to use it as a sunshade. I've still only got half the screws in. But as you can see, it's really solid on there. It's not moving at all. So once I get it bolted up properly, it should be fine. I'm happy with that now. It's been a bit of a saga though. <laughs> All good fun. And these are the brackets I managed to get. I was going to buy some steel, some box section and weld it together to create a, a U section to bolt the roof rack to the side of the awning. But uh, when I went to buy the bolts or the bit of steel, I found these. Um, there was already powder coated brown, I've just sprayed them black. But uh, there was only £2.20 each and they've been fantastic. Saved me a lot of work. So I'm real pleased with them. I think I've got eight of them holding that roof rack to the awning. Or the awning to the roof rack I should say. Well happy with them. Such useful brackets. It took me ages to make them if I had to make them. So it saved me a job in the end. So now the roof rack's in place. I've rerouted the Wi-Fi aerial in another one of those brackets that I use for the awning and I know if somebody's gonna say why you got it sticking out that way why not have you got it stuck onto the van so it doesn't stick out the side well the thing is that when I put the canoe and the kayak on the roof they go right up to the side and it would be in the way there so this way it's uh, it's not in the way at all and it should get a clear signal now so we're all set for Camp Quirky. Thankfully, all done and dusted. The only other mod we've made to the van is we've added this iPad Mini to the dash. And that's really good. Um, the GPS on it works really well. And um, it links to all your music and everything. It fits up there really well. So it um, gives you a good size GPS to use. And it's really good on Google Earth if you're looking for wild camping spots. Um, it's linked to the Wi-Fi in the back, so um, we can have a good look around and find our wild camping spots. So um, I think we're about there with the van. I think we've done everything we needed to do. I don't think there's anything else we're going to fit to it or modify. But you know what it's like when you have a camper van. They're never really finished, are they? You always end up doing something. As you can see, while I've been out there doing the camper van, Lord Louis just been laid here snoozing. We're gonna have a drink, a few biscuits, and then back to sleep again. He had me awake at half past five this morning. He wanted to go out, 
but he didn't just want to go out into the garden. He actually wanted to go to the field. So I come downstairs, he picked his ball up and he's staring at me to say, let's go to the field then. So I'm still trying to catch up on my sleep, but he thinks it's funny just to get us up. As soon as the birds are tweeting outside, he wants to be up chasing his ball. Don't you, Louis? Eh? Been out there all this time now doing the camper van. You want to go out now, don't you? Eh? Do you want to go out? Thank you.